Hello my friends and welcome to the channel. I'm back after a little bit of a vacation and today I've got another Baldur's Gate 3 build to share with everyone. This time taking a look at a draconic bloodline sorcerer that harnesses the destructive power of fire to scorch enemies to ash and leave the battlefield a smoldering ruin. I made this build for my latest run on the Tactician difficulty, and the idea was to be the party's primary magic user. But because I'm running this build on Tactician, I wanted a good sorcerer with good HP and resistances, so he didn't get one-shotted by every enemy in Act 3. And I think that I've come up with a pretty solid setup in that regard. Sorcerers are normally pretty squishy, and easy to knock out of the fight if you make a mistake in positioning them. But Draconic Bloodline Sorcerers kind of mitigate this with extra HP as a class feature and resistance to one element based on your Draconic Bloodline. You can then double up on this elemental resistance by choosing a Dragonborn as your character race, which also gain an elemental resistance based on what color of a dragon they descend from. On top of that, Draconic Sorcerers also have a default AC of 13 thanks to their natural armor, which means that you function as though you have mage armor cast on yourself permanently, which frees up a level 1 spell slot and just makes you harder to hit, which is a huge bonus for a sorcerer. When it's all put together, you end up with a sorcerer that has high HP and high AC for a magic user, takes 50% less damage from up to two different damage types, and deals extra damage with any fire spell that they cast. If that sounds good to you, then keep on watching, and I'll walk you through how you can set this up for yourself. So to start this all off, you want to roll a Dragonborn Sorcerer at level 1. If you've already started and aren't running a Dragonborn, it's not the end of the world. You still get most benefits of this setup, but the Dragonborn racial trait synergizes really well with this whole thing. Depending on what type of Dragonborn you are, you gain resistance to a certain element. I chose Black Dragon for my character, mostly for the fashion. Don't pick a main color that adds fire resistance though, because we will pick that up later. For your level 1 subclass, obviously we're going with the Draconic Bloodline, which gets you 1 extra HP per Sorcerer level, and a natural AC of 13 right at level 1. Your next Draconic Sorcerer trait is the important one here at first level. You want to choose an ancestor that matches with the main type of magic that you want to be using on your character. For this build, I'm a Fire Sorcerer, so I chose Gold Dragon Ancestry but if you wanted to go Lightning or Frost, then just pick a different background. This class trait activates at level 6, and lets you add your Charisma modifier to the damage of any spell that matches your elemental background, and allows you to gain resistance to that damage type on command. For your level 1 ability scores, there's two different setups that I would recommend. The first would be 8 Strength, 14 Dex, 14 Constitution, 12 Intelligence, 12 Wisdom, and 16 Charisma with your plus 2 in Charisma and your plus 1 in either Dex or Con. This setup is pretty well rounded and it gives you a better chance to pass saving throws against Hold Person and Domination spells. For my second pick, you can drop Intelligence and Wisdom to 10 and bump either Dexterity or Constitution to 16 to focus on being more survivable. For your starting cantrips at level 1, obviously you want to take Firebolt as a Fire Sorcerer, and I also highly recommend that you take Friends for the free advantage on every speech check in the entire game. For my other two cantrips, I just took Shocking Grasp and Frostbolt so I had options for damage of different types. For my level 1 spells, I always take Magic Missile because it's a sorcerer's best friend. And then for the second spell, I kind of wobbled back and forth between Ray of Sickness and Burning Hands. Burning Hands fits the Fire Sorcerer theme, but if you're playing smart, you're almost never close enough to use it. And Ray of Sickness is pretty good damage for the early game in my opinion. At level 2, you start to get your Sorcerer Metamagic passives, which allow you to modify spells in some pretty cool ways. For my build, I always take Twinned Spell, which allows you to double the targets on a single target spell, and Distant Spell, which allows you to extend the range of any spell, so you can hit things that are just out of reach from the normal version of the spell. Keep in mind that you can use these metamagic abilities on scrolls as well. So if you find a good scroll with a powerful spell, you can use your metamagic on that. For your next level 1 spell, Chromatic Orb is a pretty good choice as it allows you to choose any damage type so you can always get around resistances and it synergizes with the fire magic as well. At level 3, you get your first second level spell slot. 
And for my Fire Mage build, I obviously picked Scorching Ray, which gets you good damage on any single target or the ability to finish three wounded targets with a single spell. You also gain another meta magic passive, and for this one, you definitely want to choose Quicken Spell. This allows you to spend three sorcery points to cast a spell as a bonus action. This is really useful right off the bat, but once you unlock Fireball, it becomes kind of god tier, giving you the ability to toss out multiple fireballs per turn as long as you have sorcery points. As a sorcerer, you can also start swapping out lower level spells at each level and replacing them with higher level spells, but it's not necessary. It just gives you the ability to swap out something that you're not using that much and try something else. At level 4, you're going to get your first feat, and for this one, I would say you have two really good options to choose from. First up, you can keep it simple, take an ability improvement, and just bump your charisma to 18. This helps with speech checks, and it makes your spells harder for enemies to save against. Alternatively, you can choose Elemental Adept, which is very strong for elemental mages like this. This makes your spells of a chosen element ignore resistance to that damage, and you reroll the damage if it ever hits a 1. This is really helpful to ensure you're doing good damage every time you hit something, regardless of the target. For your new spell, I would suggest learning Hold Person, as it's a really valuable utility spell and can allow your melee characters to just dumpster any single target that you cast it on. For your new cantrip, honestly, just pick whatever. I don't think any of them are that important, but somebody let me know if I'm wrong about that. At level 5, you gain a third level spell slot, and of course, this is immediately going to Fireball. If you're doing a lightning build, take lightning bolt instead, but honestly, fireball is kind of the iconic, okay, my sorcerer is overpowered now spell. From here on out, you can open any fight with a quickened fireball, and then also cast scorching ray, or hold person, or just another fireball once you get another third level spell slot. At this level, I would also recommend you start replacing some old spells as well, since level 3 spells are kind of amazing. I would swap a level 1 spell out for either Haste or Counter spell right away. Both of these spells are incredibly useful, and whichever one you don't take now, I would take next level. At level 6, your Elemental Affinity class trait will activate, which means every time you roll to deal fire damage, you're adding your Charisma modifier to that damage. This turns Scorching Ray into a very solid damage dealing spell, makes Firebolt a very useful cantrip, and it just supercharges Fireball even more than it already is. This allows you to gain resistance to fire on command as well, anytime that you cast a fire spell. You spend one sorcery point, and then you gain resistance to fire as your reaction when you cast the spell. For your new spell at this level, I would recommend taking Haste or Counter Spell as I mentioned earlier, and you can swap out one of your level 1 spells for a level 2 spell if you want, but you don't have to. At level 7, you gain a 4th level spell slot, and for my Flame Sorcerer, obviously that means going for the Wall of Fire. This spell is great as a way to control the battlefield and force enemies to either move or burn to a crisp. You do have to think carefully when using it, but it can be really helpful, especially in tight hallways where the enemy has nowhere to escape. At level 8, you gain another 4th level spell, and there's a lot of solid options to choose from. Dominate Beast is useful to turn monsters into allies, Polymorph is pretty good to just get rid of one problem enemy. Banishment is good for the same reason. Blight is pretty solid as single target damage. And Dimension Door is sometimes pretty amazing as an escape plan or for solving puzzles. You also gain another feat at this level, and I would say it's the same choice as level 4. You either take an ability score improvement for Charisma, or you take Elemental Adept for your chosen element if you haven't taken that already. At level 9, you get a 5th level spell slot. I usually pick Hold Monster, which can allow you to do some pretty nasty plays against basically any enemy or boss if they don't resist the saving throw. I also really like Cloud Kill, which gives you a large poison cloud that you can move around the field on each turn so the enemies can't ever really escape from it. Cone of Cold is also pretty nice as raw damage, and basically all level 5 spells are pretty good so you have a lot of options here. From here on out, it's pretty much smooth sailing right to level 12, and you basically just get to learn more spells and gain another feat at level 12. At level 11, you also gain the ability to fly on command, which makes you extremely maneuverable. And you can basically just start zipping around the battlefield casting spells and almost never get caught by melee enemies because they just can't catch up with you. 
for metagaming, I would recommend that you do the hag quest early on or find a piece of gear to gain plus one charisma and then respec at level four to get 20 charisma as early as possible. But it's not as important on a sorcerer as it is on a warlock. I would also keep my eye out for any gear that adds AC to unarmored characters or helps with concentration saving throws so you never lose your haste spell early. The Sorcerer is also an amazing class to synergize with Illithid powers in the mid game, so if you don't mind a couple worms in your brain, I would highly recommend shoving a few in there. Overall this Sorcerer build has played quite well for me on Tactician. The Draconic traits really help with surviving hits, and after level 5 to 6 you can really pump out a lot of damage with twinned fireballs or scorching rays on the first two turns of combat. I hope you enjoy the build if you try it out, and thanks for watching the video. I've got links to my Twitch stream and Discord server down below for anyone interested, and until next time, stay safe out there everyone.